Question time, 7 o'clock, June 14th, on board meeting. We have no public hearings tonight. I'll call meeting to order and full board. Uh, tonight, we're missing uh, our water and sewer acting superintendent and our town engineer. So, Pledge of Allegiance, would you like to lead us? Please, or Pledge, please. I pledge my allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one of the nation, under God, and in the soul, for the liberty of the justice of all. Thank you. Uh, your agenda says one seven minutes, but we have two seven minutes. So it's the town board meeting minutes of May 24th. Also, the Barton Mountain Park workshop that we had before the May 24th meeting minutes. So moved. Second. Motion and second as a block. Any comments, corrections? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any public concerns or privilege of the floor tonight? Anybody in line? We would have one person on line. Okay. I'll say one thing more privilege of the floor and public concern. Okay, we'll move on to the report to standing committees, public works. Okay, public works met this morning. I'll start with uh, water and sewer at the treatment plant. Um, Digester one, the wall repair should be started shortly, hopefully next week. Um, also, Digester one needs a heat exchanger pump. They're still looking on pricing on that. Uh, the Trojan work and UV unit has been completed and it's up and running, I believe. Uh, they just need a sensor to, that they can take care of later. Uh, the boiler uh, water recirculation pump uh, needs to be uh, new seals put in it. They're checking on availability of seals. Uh, they're also working on bolts for the Ross valve uh, and the clay valve in the Temple of building. Uh, looking at prices to replace seals on the bond heat exchanger pump. Uh, the primary clarified carbon pump uh, needed diaphragms, and I believe they have completed that project. Uh, RL Stone uh, had to calibrate the oxygen sensors and implant building. And the first uh, gas meter has been sent out. And the second one will be sent out uh, later after the first one comes back. Uh, and under general comments, the water main replacement on 332 and 96 will start in the next couple of weeks. Uh, the uh, New York State fence was there, installed the gate at the treatment plant. They just got some electrical work to finish up on that project. Uh, Farmington and Candango have started water main replacement on Town Line Road, which I think they said they had most of that in, except for what they didn't have put Great. Right. Uh, flow testing is being done um, in Victor and in Farmington. Uh, they're looking to put them up in some other areas shortly in new areas. Uh, the man full top for wagon, wagon road has been completed. And it's been picked up and put together in parts list for the internal form or pipe. We did have one water line break. Josh told me this morning, I think he said it was going on. County Road 8. County Road 8, County Road 8 up here at Iron, Iron Mall. Yeah. So and that on. is it for water and sewer. As far as highways, um, their ongoing equipment maintenance is obviously goes on all the time. Uh, they've been doing roadside mowing. Um, they're on Route 2. They're just about finished with Route 2. They've got the county roads, and I think you said you had 332 left the second round. Yeah. Uh, crack ceiling, you've been doing that for going on. And you've been paving over on Town Line Road, and you've got the main paving finished today, right? 
Both lanes are done. Good. Okay, and as far as parks, got ongoing uh, building and park maintenance, mowing. Uh, they've been uh, the playground is open at Beaver Creek. We're still waiting on the second playground for the younger kids, right? And a swing set. Right. Uh, also doing trimming around the town buildings and parks. Uh, the court carpets have been cleaned, town hall carpets have been cleaned, and you had uh, electronic waste. A uh, county event that was uh, 6 11, and that's it. Thanks, Ron. Town operations? Town operations at this morning. We have four resolutions. Uh, we'll discuss when they come up. There's still no word on the tap grant application for the sidewalks. February, April, and March, June could be whatever. Who knows? Uh, we have drumming signs for the Hickory Rice subdivision, uh, proposed by the Town Conservation Board, reviewed by the Town Public Works and the Town Operations Committee. Uh, they're, they're pretty nice signs, they're very explanatory, and they should do well when they get posted up. Uh, that is having sent the property owners uh, along Elmwood Court and the Way, of which the property is uh, backing up to the Beaver Creek Park and portion of the Auburn Trail. Uh, concerns with structures, lawn and brush debris, motorized vehicles, all parked on town's parkland, and uh, there'll be a period of time uh, for these homeowners to correct the issues. Uh, the building and parking report will be provided for. Uh, there were three fire calls, and you may go over that one in the list. If you want to talk about that? It's not exciting, I guess. Um, that's all I have. Everything's on the website. Thanks, Lee. <clears throat> Reports of under town officials and uh, supervisors. Uh, I don't have a lot. Every department is busy. We're working on the 2023 budget sheets to get out in July. And um, at the county, I had the economic development committee meeting today, and the new uh, director. For economic development, Ryan Davis. Uh, this is his first meeting for attendance. And that's all I have. By the way, Marks. Um, like Ron said, uh, we got the paving, main paving done on the town line road. We still have the sub roads and stuff to do. We will be completed tomorrow. And then it's just the ones that are tidying up here and there. Got some sidewalk to put in that. Uh, where the water line gets there, but that's probably going to be late fall. Um, so we brought our favorite truck in down there, a pressure truck. Um, got that in this morning. I told Jason Mark off the mower to come in and help Josh to see if we can get it out. It was quite a job getting that out of there. They want green and trying to get the long cylinder out of there. It took them most of the day. But they did get it out and found a steel line moving back and forth. There's a steel line that runs from one end of the cylinder that takes the fluid to the other end of the cylinder. And it was rubbing in there on something. I don't know what yet, but it brought the hole to it. So, uh, so maybe just the line and not the cylinder? Well, no, it's. Oh. It's the line, it's attached to the cylinder. Oh, so we the steel line, line that's attached. It's the steel line. So we had to pull the cylinder out, got it out, they got it up to cylinder service now. They're going to repair it. Hopefully, have it back next week. So. Which means we're going to run another back to the truck. Well, in the meantime. <clears throat> That is the update. I did talk to Wade Ayers after we were meeting this morning. He was going to get in contact with his boss and Don Call, who was the head of service, and he wasn't able to get a hold of him today. They turned both out of the office. So there is no meeting about the proportion of payment. I did run by him what we discussed this morning about the extra. He's going to run it by them. But for right now, he's yeah. no meeting on it tomorrow. Okay. Good. Thanks. Tom Clark? Uh, Saturday, and then we're going to be officiating the wedding over in the event. And 
Um, our office is working on our dealing with dogs list and uh, quite a few people come in, and, you know, that settled and quite a few obviously have yeah, some food or dog and disease. So we'll put out a better report uh, and, and this week where we leave everybody tired to do it. So, that's it. Okay, good. The water and sewer route was on vacation, uh, and I was going to talk about the fire trucks and covered that for me. That's good. It, uh, just for everybody, uh, the county's used flusher truck, the town of Canada was going to buy that for 95000 so 2008. The county, the county has a new truck now. Building and zoning. All right, uh, report for May. We did 87 permits. Uh, total permits to the end of May was 371 permits for the year. Total inspections in May. Total inspections were 122 to 1,237. The fire marshal completed five more in his, uh, fire inspections in May. We did 24 stormwater inspections and zoning inspections. He did 98 zoning inspections. The reason that was so high is we had all the manufactured home parks that we're trying to get to a spot that we can bring that operating permit to you guys. I sent the report along with my ops report uh, for the records just showing where each park is at and how much is still up there to do. We're hoping to have that cleared up within the next month. So, uh, speaking of firefowl that was brought up, uh, we were up to the Greener Lakes Hotel. Uh, they had a water leak that ended up flooding down two of their buildings. And um, we discovered they weren't working within their special use permit. That was approved by our planning board. So um, it's been a lot of fun activities up there. Um, they have new owners. So we're trying to build that relationship with the new owners and try to get everything back to where it should be. So, the real estate sales said $5 million for that property. So, no word lives. Yes, sir. The building still shut down. Then? No, uh, we were able to get it open up the same night. Uh, they were they finally understood what we were talking about because if they couldn't get water to people, we were going to relocate people, and they understood that after the police were involved and all that, they decided that it was probably a good idea to send a plumber that night, even though it was a Friday night at like eleven o'clock. Uh, they thought it was a good idea to pay the extra to have somebody come out and see it. Law enforcement didn't have to assist us in relocating about 24 apartments. Mm -hmm. The residents weren't really happy not to have water, so it was very, we were very thankful to have the sheriffs up there with us. Um, so we have a good working relationship with those guys. So. The residents, not the owner. Well, we're <laughs> the new ones. <laughs> they have to learn. We're working on it. Yeah. Thanks, Uh We haven't seen any tomorrow night to go over Farmbrook extension there on the back. 45, I think, roughly or something. I forget the number. And then uh, Myers RV to see where they are with their construction finalization. And that's it. All right, great. Right. Director of Planning and Development. We finally got the uh, Traffic information from GNA for the plan of it. So now that we have all three traffic counts, so we'll be setting up a meeting with DOT and involved parties to uh, figure out what the true costs are for all these improvements that are on the horizon. And the advisory committee this Thursday night, David looking at some zoning amendments. Very new zoning district. Um, agricultural conservation has been called, I guess. We're also working on Chapter 165 amendments, dealing with flex buildings and definition changes, and beginning to look at Airbnb. The uh, report for town ops is posted on the website and is distributed this afternoon. To is all parties. Thank you. Uh, we're going to have our town engineer tonight. He's doing a corporate challenge run. Uh, 
such that recreation are not available tonight. Communications are on file. Reports and minutes are on file. Resolutions. Uh, the first one is the resolution for the Tennessee for the family passing of our beloved hunts. All, all, all. Hunts at 10 years on the Board of Assessment Review. And his wife uh, is, uh, is also spent time between planning and the zoning boards for the town. A motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> Choose the resolution authorizing a pay adjustment as a result of scoring the top three of competitive exam for the account clerk, type of finance, click one, and transitioning from provisional to probationary appointment. The pay increase at 50 cents per hour. Second. That was a condition of her employment that she wouldn't be making or her predecessor made until she passed the exam. And that's what we had the resolution for tonight. All in favor? Aye. 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 Principal account clerk to account one. So, seven. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Or is resolution authorizing the town to sign a memorandum of understanding with the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance Office of Real Property Tax Services regarding the 2023 reevaluation and reassessment project? So, seven. Motion and a second. Uh, just to bring everybody up the board, up the date, um, going through the committee process right now is the county planning office will try to add two data collectors to not only assist this town, but can be with another town for a revaluation process, not only for 23, but in future years. All in favor? Uh, <laughs> Number five, resolution acknowledging the addition of new members to the Farmington Volunteer Fire Association. Hello, second. Motion and second. And this is for three new members uh, Sean Garcia Perez, Marco Romanchuk, and Caitlin Marshall. It's always good to have three new members for the fire department. All in favor? Aye. 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 Number six, resolution from <laughs> local law entitled Local Law Operation on Town Board and other public bodies in the town to use video conferencing technology to, to participate in public meetings and calling in public hearing to be held at our next meeting, which is Wednesday, June 29th, at 7 p.m. in the Farmington Town Hall here in the page 1000. Second. Motion to second. Every, every municipality is going through. This process now, if they want to do video conferencing, uh, they had to hold a public hearing and pass a resolution with uh, rules. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Seven, the resolution authorizes acceptance of stormwater facility maintenance agreement and storage. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Number eight's resolution awarded a special abatement at the town hall to fiber tech environmental that it cost not to exceed $24,000. Second. So we are working with Fisher Associates, we did receive two quote, and uh, fiber tech environmental now was the lowest one, but the quotes were more very close. So hopefully that work will start here in July. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nice resolution authorizing installation of a new conversion kit for the Gorm Rock controller to PS12 would have cost not to exceed $4,930. So, motion. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And is a resolution for a budget amendment and a lighting fund. Transferring a revenue to expense line, transferring money from insurance recovery to revenue control home replacement. $1,054 is the total amount. So, 
situation is not going to be in this over his head. We want to be new the vehicle and have some insurance for the company. All in favor? Aye. 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 11th resolution operating the town to provide the design of the vehicle substantial completion for the digest to clean the project and approving the final payment application. So moved. Second. This is the uh, bill of digester one. And uh, we had a vendor coming in this week or next week to see the crack up that's in it. And then we can fire that one back up and take down another one for maintenance. All in favor? Aye. 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 Calls the resolution authorizes an acceptance of a historic grant from the William G. Pomeroy Foundation in the amount of $1,500. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution of appreciation and recognition for the conservation board member, William Pat Murphy. So moved. Second. And uh, Mr. Murphy. Spent 10 years on the conservation board and just recently resigned. We really appreciate the time you spent on the conservation board. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 14 is a resolution authorized and acceptance of a monthly report of the supervisor for May 2020. So, second. <coughs> and that's the financial report that I provide to the town board. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Casey's resolution authorizing the code board for an office to purchase one new S900 AG and SS receiver bundle with SHC 6000 controller and cost not to exceed $15,142. So, second. Okay, so all that title is basically it's a GPS system to replace the old one. And uh, the money basically is switched between like three accounts. Drainage, water, and sewer, and hydro. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 16, the res resolution declaring missing land equipment from the common law of surplus, but maybe surplus option or discard. So, second. You have a monitor, four keyboards, and a Toshiba laptop. All in favor? Aye. 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 17 is a resolution operating the town supervisor to take appropriate action to sign lawn mowing contracts and to apply lawn mowing charges to the property within, within the town to the tax roll. So second. This is a, an annual event. Roughly this year, we only have four parcels at the moment. And it's very hard to find somebody to do the mowing. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Right. Uh, 18 is an abstract 11, 2022 to pay the bills. General fund $72,674.50. Highway fund $132,801.95. Peter Creek Park $2,042.72. Town Science Capital Project $8,341.66. Route 332 and 96 water line project, $1,421. SIP mining capital project, $1,290. Water tank repair, $5,425.92. Town line capital project, $1,206.70. Storm drainage, $2,602.82. Lighting district, $1,075.05. Sewer district, $155,982.42. Water district, $21,413.26. Payroll deductions, $254.16. For a full abstract to pay the bill, $415,432.27. So motion. Motion to second. Any abstentions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I have no train under $100. Uh, we do have two addresses, 87 Gannett and 6048 Connolly Drive. Requesting the town board uh, waive their fees. I did send the letters to the town board uh, a few days ago. 
further review ahead of this meeting. Um, I, you know, I see no reason to waive the fees based on the information provided, but I wanted your feedback. Yeah, you're both ready. So, both ready. So, okay. All right. One request came in like six months later. Six yeah. months after that. Yeah. Okay. And, which we had no proof. We had that a little bit. Right? I'm trying to go back and look. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll let that know. Thank you. Uh, no executive session tonight. Any objections to the waiver of the rule for three resolutions? All right, hearing none. First resolution is authorizing payment to the town of Victor for the power and control panel installation by Colosino and pump station 10 and 13. So, sorry. So, this is uh, just under $50,000 in electrical upgrades to two pump stations. There's a voucher in the bills tonight for one of the two. And the other one's done, we'll, we'll pay for the second one. All in favor? Aye. 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 Choose the resolution operating the Highway Park Superintendent to approve HVAC repairs at the Town Hall and Tennessee Lodge and Highway Building. Second. And this is through the annual maintenance uh, to repairs were discovered. Cost not to exceed $4,000. All in favor? Aye. 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 Number three is a, a very late waiver of the rule. It's a resolution operating to hire a water and sewer superintendent at this time. So moved. All. Uh, all would like to get uh, uh, the second. Yes. Uh, so I'll just read the resolution. Uh, we're at the town of Carmen requested on Ontario County Human Resources Director advertised to fill the vacancy of the water and sewer superintendent position. Whereas the Permanency Town Board has reviewed the number one candidate application, whereas the applicant has a Department of Health water license and a Grade 4 wastewater license, and whereas the Town Board has found that the applicant is fully qualified for the position of water and sewer superintendent, now therefore be resolved that the Permanency Town Board authorizes the Town Supervisor to make an offer of employment to David J. Cosby as our water and sewer superintendent. All in favor. Hi, Hi. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Dave. Welcome tonight. And the uh, Dave's going to make some time. We, we won't have him on board till July time frame, but he's going to make some time to come down and visit us, maybe around our next meeting, uh, come down for a couple of days. Work with Janine and I on the, on the budget side, and work with Robin and Josh and, and Mike and on the water and sewer projects that I got going. And I probably had Bill Davis meet with them for a couple hours and on all the DBC stuff we normally do and have the engineer department do. So, any other comments? Anything else to be brought to this? Oh, pardon? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I guess I'll take a resolution to adjourn. So, second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Saturday.